Jim Shudo reporting for us. Thank you. Uh, CNN is also on the ground getting a close-up look at the battle against ISIS as the terror group seizes more territory and threatens more lives. Let's go straight to our senior international correspondent, Arwa Damon. She's uh, on the border between Syria and Turkey with more. What's the latest there, Arwa? Well, Wolf, that battle is certainly intensifying. And those who are trying to keep ISIS from fully taking over Kobani, well, they won't be able to hold out indefinitely. God is great, a voice cries out in Arabic in this video, exclusively obtained by CNN. Within seconds, another explosion. Both believed to be coalition airstrikes. Long live the YPG, a man in Kurdish shouts. The YPG, the Kurdish force, is fighting pitched street battles against ISIS. And there is one brigade of Free Syrian Army rebels alongside it. But neither have the weapons or numbers of fighters needed to sustain this house-to-house -house battle. Despite coalition air power launching increasing strikes on ISIS targets deep inside Kobani, according to fighters on the ground, almost half of the city is now under ISIS's control. ISIS is receiving reinforcements from their stronghold of Raqqa, and as we witnessed, moving with ease in the open terrain around Kobani, ferrying their fighters around on motorcycles. At the unofficial border crossing that was the gateway for the flood of refugees, a handful wait. These men don't want to be interviewed. There is nothing to say, they tell us. Everything is lost. The Turkish military won't allow them to cross back into Syria, but they can reach the fence and their relatives camped out on the other side to drop off bread. 22-year-old Adnan's father is still in Syria. Like others, he refuses to cross into Turkey because authorities won't let him bring his car with all the family possessions. There is still hope, Adnan says. We don't know, but the coalition is striking. So maybe they will be able to go home. But if this video posted by ISIS is an indication of what potentially awaits them, home may not be what they remember. Wolf, there's a lot of anger and frustration amongst the Kurdish population on both sides because even though they are grateful for what the coalition has done so far in terms of those airstrikes in and around Kobani, they do feel as if they should have been launched even before ISIS was able to gain a foothold into that city. And that rhetoric coming from the U.S. administration about how insignificant Kobani is, well, that causes people to question what the U.S. and its allies' true aim is when it comes to what they're trying to accomplish in Syria. Wolf. Arwa Damon on the border there between Turkey and Syria. Be safe over there, Arwa. Thank you.